growing in every grace. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 7 But since you excel in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in complete earnestness, and in the love we have kindled in you, see that you also excel in this grace of giving. Paul, in this letter to the Corinthians, is highlighting the importance of being well-rounded in our Christian walk. So let's break down what he means. First, he acknowledges the strengths of the Corinthians. They are excelling in faith. Their trust in God is strong. They are also excelling in speech, which means they are good at sharing the gospel and encouraging others. Their knowledge of God's word is deep and they are earnest, showing genuine sincerity in their faith. Lastly, they are strong in love, which binds all these qualities together. Paul then challenges them to add one more thing to their list, the grace of giving. He wants them to excel in generosity. Why? Because giving is a reflection of God's own nature. God is the ultimate giver. He gave us His Son, Jesus Christ, to save us. When we give, we mirror God's love and provision to others. So let's make this practical. Number one, faith. Trust God in all circumstances. When you face difficulties, remember that God is in control. Strengthen your faith by reading the Bible and praying daily. Number two, speech. Use your words to build up others. Encourage those around you. Share the gospel and speak kindly. Three, knowledge. Continue to learn about God, attend Bible studies, read Christian books, and seek to understand God's Word more deeply. Number four, earnestness. Be sincere in your actions. Don't just go through the motions. Live out your faith with genuine commitment and enthusiasm. And number five, love. Show love in tangible ways. Help those in need, be patient with others, and forgive as God forgave you. Now, let's focus on the grace of giving. Excelling in giving means being generous not just with your money, but with your time, talents, and resources. It means looking out for opportunities to help others. When we give, we trust God to provide for our needs and we become a blessing to others. Now here are some practical ways to excel in giving. First, give financially. Support your church and charitable organizations. Even small amounts can make a big difference. Second, give your time. Volunteer at a local shelter, church, or community center. Your time is valuable and can have a huge impact. And third, share your talents. Use the skills God has given you to help others. If you're good at teaching, offer to tutor someone. If you can cook, make a meal for a family in need. Remember, giving should come from a place of joy, not obligation. God loves a cheerful giver. When we give freely, we experience the joy of participating in God's work and see the positive effects of our generosity on others. Let us pray. Lord, help us to excel in faith, speech, knowledge, sincerity, and love. Teach us to also excel in the grace of giving, reflecting your generosity in all we do. In Jesus' name, Amen.